The giant squid is incredible. Since early times, tales of horror have been woven around these fantastic sea creatures. It is the largest, strongest, fastest, cruelest, most cunning, and ferocious of all animals. John Lurie and Dennis Hopper are here in Thailand and hope to be the first people to actually catch one. It is believed that the giant squid travels at speeds of over 75 miles an hour. It has the most highly developed brain of any invertebrate. With eyes the size of a volleyball, it is believed that the giant squid has the power to hypnotize most mammals. A reporter kicked me out of his house once. He said I was a caveman. Because I told him he had a lot of yes men around him. And like, you know, it's ridiculous. A guy as important as he was to sit around with all these yes, Mr. Porter, no, Mr. Porter. He asked me to leave. He wrote me a very beautiful letter, though. He said that he'd only met a few people who drank as much as I did and were animals, you know? One was Larry Hart, and the other was John Barrymore. Neither one of them he wanted back in his house, and that included me. That's a nice <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Well, not bad company, you know what I'm saying? No, I, well, I stayed it for years, and somebody, some girlfriend ripped it up, or wife, or something. Sort of fit of like female passion, like hating me, knowing that letter meant something to me. Destroy whatever he likes, you know. Few humans have ever seen this horrific beast, which lurks in the far depths of the ocean. In ancient times, countless ships were destroyed by what was then believed to be a sea monster. Attacks are less common today. deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper into Thailand.
Actually, John and Dennis aren't fishing. They use chunks of bait in hopes of attracting the giant squid out of its murky lair. These lines are almost a mile long. If they manage to lure the squid to the surface, the crew will be ready to harpoon it. If I was a white man and you were the same, I'd meet you. Oh, I, I lost no idea. Krabnar Sakbar. This is known in squid circles as the mile long tangle. Look, Dennis, I made a design. Excellent. in the daytime because I'm not so sure about this night fishing. I mean, I think visually it's sort of a gas, you know? No, the night fishing has been a week. So I saw this crate full of fish. What? I saw a crate full of fish. A crate full of fish? A crate full. Grateful fish. Great. What, a grateful fish just jumped out on your plate? You know what I'm saying. Why do you keep saying No, 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 I don't know. Great full of fish. A great full of fish. A great full of fish. Great. Is that like a great, great. Al alcoholic? Great. I am a great full of fish. Yeah, well, you saw it where? Where did you see it? In the restaurant? Oh, I know where you saw it. You saw it where the boat came from. Uh, I can't hear you, Dennis. Go ahead. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. You saw a great full of fish. <laughs> And then what? Huh? And then what? What happened? I'm talking to you. I'm crazy. <laughs> fish on here. The big one. The big one in there. Yeah. La. La. Mar mar pla. Mar mar pla. Mar mi pla. Mar mi pla. Mar mi pla. I think there. Pla mar mi No fish here, I think. No fish here, yeah? Great. <laughs> On the radio, the captain has heard an hysterical SOS from a nearby vessel. He believes this can only mean one thing, the giant squid. Okay, we're gonna move, Dennis. John and Dennis awaken to find they have been abandoned by a terrified crew. However, they will continue their journey alone.
In these caves, it is believed there are secrets as to the habits of the giant squid. John and Dennis stumble onto the sanctuary of an order of squid monks. These monks live in seclusion and study the ways of the giant squid. They invite John and Dennis for a cup of tea. John and Dennis try to coax them into divulging the secrets of the giant squid. But the squid monks only acquiesce to show them photographs of their families. He was flying. I could hear his wings, wings flapping. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're going to catch him, Johnny. This is the big one. John and Dennis have borrowed a boat from the squid monks, unfortunately without asking their permission. Dennis has seen a map on the wall of the monks' monastery that leads him to believe that somewhere in this area is the lair of the giant squid. You think I should have like little sections of the bone in my leg removed so my legs aren't so long? Yeah. I know a girl who had was she was six foot four or something like that, and she had several inches of bone removed from her leg, but then her hands dragged along the ground when she walked. <laughs> <laughs> she says that she's real attractive. I don't think I've ever known any girl. I've known a lot of women. I don't think I've ever known any that actually their hands drug on the ground because their legs are too short. Well, she, when, when, when they were at rest, she could pick them up so that they could, could be at her. You know, she she could walk like that. Did she have hair on her back of her hands? Or... No. I hate it when they have hair on their palms. It drives me crazy. Not a lot of stuff bothers me, but that's, that does. I don't like women who have those big gaping sores all over their faces. <laughs> <laughs> they never bothered me. <laughs> when, when I was a kid, I hitchhiked to Los Angeles, and I had no money and no place to stay, and I called some kind of number in the back of a hippie paper, so if you're stranded. And the, Jay North's manager, you know Jay North, Dennis the Menace? Picked me up. Who's that? Dennis the Menace? You know, Dennis the Menace. Well, the person, the act, the guy who played Dennis oh, the Menace, yeah. he was now Jay North's manager, and Jay North was about 25 and couldn't get work. And there was pictures of Jay, the young and old Jay North all around so this guy. So what was he looking for? He, um, he asked if he could massage my neck. Oh, he was uh, into groupies. <laughs> into groupies, yeah. <laughs> and then um, he went out to get some food, and I left him a note saying, um, you're the nicest person I've ever met, and I left. <laughs> this is true. That was all because he massaged your neck, that you thought he was the nicest person you'd ever met? 
No, because he picked up stranded hippies. And then massaged their necks. And then went for he food, also and me. they left. Huh? <laughs> when he went for food, they <laughs> left. <laughs> I felt bad for him. Huh? I felt bad for him. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a hell of a thing to have to carry around with you. Me? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that's the way you'd started in the business. You have all my sympathies. The giant squid is in the area. John and Dennis have been hypnotized. The effect is completely pleasurable. However, they won't remember any of this. John and Dennis have some euphoric inkling of what has just happened to them. They race madly through the ocean in search of they know not what. Unfortunately, the squid monk's boat breaks down. The Andaman Sea, the Andaman Sea, Oogly Boogly, the Andaman Sea. We should be there in about a week. No, 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 not in a week. We're going backwards. I'm putting the anchor out. Okay. All right. Yeah, you think the rods are safe on the boat? What's that? You think the rods are safe on the boat? Yeah. Just check out where we are first, man. All right. Because I know that hut's around there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Because the last time you left me out here in the dark, if you remember. Wait, I'm going to put the other anchor in. OK. John, I found the pack. OK, I'm coming. Your kind of place, man. Let's eat. I'm starving. Come and get a diet coke. Please, please, Mr. Hopper, can we eat something somewhere? Can we eat diet coke, Mr. Hopper? Please, can we eat, Mr. Hopper, sir? Yeah. Let's go for it. You know where to go? Yeah, Johnny. There you go. Thank you. Mm. You lead the way, Mr. Hopper, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to see these hippies? No, I hate hippies. Let's go eat. Come here. Jeez. I'm hungry. 
Where do you want to eat? How about here? You want to eat here? Mm. Here? Uh, probably. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Hang on. Don't you suppose? Didn't you, wait a second. Wait, 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 stop. Didn't you hear them crush the crushed ice thing going? Seriously, I bet there's ice. Excuse me? Is there, is there ice, ice in this? Ice in this? <laughs> ice? No, I can't have it. No. Can't have it. Uh, if I could just have a, it's possible to have a fruit shake, but no ice. No milk, no ice. Just fruit. See, I heard the ice in the blender. That's all. Is that what you did? Yeah. Mm. It's too late. You saved my life. I'll remember that. <laughs> I bet you will. I'll call that in. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of ice. It's good for you. Thank you. How was that? Warm. I think that when people go on vacation, they wear the most ridiculous clothes. Things that they would never wear. Is it like, you know, well, I'm a bank clerk, so I'm gonna go wild when I go on my vacation. Shock people with my colorful shorts. You think that that's what it is? Yeah. You're not interested in this conversation? Not really, but that is what it is. You figured it out and I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at this blue thing. Look at that blue thing. It's a muscle. Look at the blue thing. What's the blue thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In actual fact, the giant squid might not even exist. But whether there is such a thing as a giant squid or not, life is still beautiful. Every breath, every day of our lives. Ah, fishing. Fishing with John. Fishing with John Fishing with John Out on the water Fishing with John